Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing part three of build a battle station app and this is the modifying user experience. So we're going to modify the page layout, um, add some data, add a roll-up summary field, and then we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, we're going to click the app launcher and either search or open it up and we're going to go to the Battle Station app. And we're going to make sure that we have a record in here. I've previously created the record, um, but you can do that by going back to new and then create the obliteration station and then we're going to go to setup and go to the object manager and go to our battle station app or battle station object excuse me From here, we're going to go to page layouts. Um, and we're going to click on the battle station layout. We're going to go scroll down. Um, we're going to move weapon status and you want it to be right here underneath project status. Um, and then let's go to our resources related list. We're going to click the wrench icon to bring up our properties here. And we want quantity and utilization to be in our selected fields rather than our available fields. So you, by doing that, I'll undo it. So you would click the field that you want, click add. There you go. And now we're going to click OK. Or exit out because I've already saved it. And then we're going to do the same thing for supplies. but we want the supply name, quantity, unit cost, and total cost to be on this related properties list. And once you do that, hit save. All right, so after you've done those related lists, let's click save on the page layout. Then we're gonna go back to our app if it is in another tab. Then you can go back to it. If not, you would click this little app launcher icon and you'd be good. So let's go ahead and go into our obliteration station and go to the related tab. And we're going to add a bunch of these. So I've already done some. Let's see how many we have. Um, so we left off at Robert the Foreman. We've got five more to go. So let's do that together. And I'm just adding a um, one and one percent just because it's easy to click. As far as utilization and quantity. I am clicking save and new because that will make things a lot easier and makes it so then you're not clicking a bunch of buttons. One 
one thing that you might run into is that you might have misspelt some of these, so be careful um, when you are spelling some of them. All right, now that we have done our resources, let's go ahead and move over to our supplies. So again, I just went to the specific record under battle stations uh, related, and then we're gonna do supplies and new. All right, looks like we're about halfway done. Last one. Alright, so now we are going to add our roll-up summary field, and then we should be done with this one. So, we're going to go back to our battle station object. A few ways I kept the other tab open, um, but another way is you go to setup from this little gear icon. Um, either edit object or then go to the object manager. So we are going to go to fields and relationships and click new. For data type, we want roll up summary field. Click next. And then for the field label, we're going to do crew members. Doesn't look like we need a description or help text. All right, so we are going to summarize resources. Gonna click sum and then quantity. And I believe we're gonna leave everything else. So let's click next. And then next again on the field level security, I don't believe they'll be checking that. And then click save, it's gonna add it to our page layout. All right, let's go ahead and head back to our Trellhead. So we modified that. We added all of our records. Added a roll-up summary field. Let's verify. One thing to be really careful of, again, is to make sure that you're spelling everything right. Sometimes if you miss a letter or miscapitalize something, then it doesn't work out super well. So thank you for joining me. It looks like we passed on this one. 
um, be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps out my channel and helps me create more helpful videos like this. And I will catch you guys in part four.